now that you have your virtual machine completed, you might want to add a, a second hard drive. Let's say you're learning about LVM, logical volume management, or you want to study up on adding a swap, an entire hard drive for swap or additional drives for uh, add new partitions. Then you'd need to add a, as a mistake. You'd need to add an additional hard drive. And so the way we're going to do that is we've got our virtual machines powered off. Well, I'll do this in Debian first. And you'll click on storage here. And then you'll click on your controller. You can use an IDE controller if you want to add an IDE hard drive. I'm going to add a SATA drive. But if you want to add some other controllers, you can do that with this button here. Uh, to add new controllers. You can add SCSI, uh, SAS, floppy, USB. I'm just going to add a new drive on the controller we have here. So you've got the choice of adding an optical drive, which is a CD-ROM or a DVD, or you can add a hard disk. And so we'll click Add Hard Disk. And we're going to create a new disk. And I'm going to go with the default. You've got several different models to choose from based on the other types of virtual machines that are out there like uh, VMware and Kimu. But we're just going to go with uh, the VDI. And then I always choose dynamically allocated. That way it's going to create a small amount of space. And then if I need more space, it'll just grow as needed. If you choose a fixed size, let's say you choose two gigabytes, it's going to actually physically take up two gigabytes of hard disk on the on your drive in your system. So I choose dynamically allocated. And this is my second virtual hard drive, and you can choose the size. And since it's dynamic, I can even choose two terabytes if I want to. Even though the hard drive in my system is only 512 megabytes, I can choose two terabytes since I chose dynamic. Now, yes, I am going. I would run to an issue though if I ever grow above 512 uh, gigabytes. But, um, uh, but you know, if you're studying and you want to get the feel for work, working with a larger drive, you've got that capacity. Now, for the tasks I'm going to be performing, eight gigabytes is going to be enough. Uh, so I'm going to choose eight. Actually, I'm going to choose two gigabytes. Uh, you can use a scroller or if you want to just make life easier on yourself just go in there and type 2. Click create and now that second drive is created so I've got this one here that I had before that's 8 gigabytes and the new one I created here that's 2 gigabytes and it shows since I chose dynamically allocated the virtual size is 2 gigabytes but the actual size is only 2 megabytes so and it shows the location where it's stored here as well so I'm going to click OK. And let's go ahead and boot our system. We'll do an F disk dash L to list out our devices. And we have our new device here slash dev slash SDC is two gigabytes and other details about the drive and right now we need to we'll need to put an operating system on it does not contain a valid partition table and so we'll do that later on but um, the we'd use a command called MKFS to create the file system and uh, but uh, you first you'd use FDIS to format to uh, set up the drive so I'll show that in a different video, but for now I just want to show you how to add that device. So you would use FDisk to set up the device. And oh, oh heck, I guess I'm here. Let me try this real quickly. Uh, we want to create a new primary partition. So we're going to start at 2048, go to that distance by default, print it out. And we want to save it. So we're going to write out our changes, and then we say MKFS. Uh, let's see, I've got... Uh, mkfs.ext3 slash dev sdc1 and that'll create the file system for us and then 
create a directory to mount it on. Make directory um, be, we'll call it, uh, just call it slash C. Mount slash dev SD C1 to slash C. And uh, if we do a DF minus H, we'll see this mounted there to slash C. And uh, that's two gigabytes data on it. LS slash C. All that there is lost and found. And that lost and found directory is if we, when the system does a file system check and finds inodes that don't have a name, or files that don't have a name, it'll go ahead and put those inside of lost plus found. All right, so that's it on adding a hard drive. I showed you a little bit of extra there. And uh, we'll get, we have some other videos showing some other Linux features on of creating the, the system virtual box and adding other devices. So uh, just check our website for more. Take care. Bye.